Just like other tech professionals, UX designers are asking critical questions about whether AI tools might take their jobs. Some popular design tools already have AI features. These tools can do amazing things, quickly and with little effort on the designer's part. However, they only help with specific tasks and don't replace more complex creative work like creating design systems or interpreting user research findings. Generative AI can't automate the entire design process, and it won't for a while. We're going to cover six types of AI tools that every designer should know to stay competitive. Generative design tools are widely used in architecture and manufacturing already, particularly for parameterization. Imagine you're designing a building. You must realize the client's vision while adhering to building codes, budgets, project timelines, and engineering constraints. Generative design tools allow designers to set these constraints before they begin designing. The software automatically adjusts the design to keep within these parameters and flag errors, such as going over budget or using material that isn't up to code. These tools haven't replaced architects. Instead, it frees them from having to continuously update their design, reducing human error and lead times. Regarding UX design, generative AI tools are far less advanced, at least so far. Current AI-powered design co-pilots allow users to generate mock-ups for home pages, landing pages, and user interfaces, but there is no parameterization. Some tools to suggest here are Galileo AI, which turns text prompts into editable UI designs and generates a mock-up you can manipulate in Figma, and Wizard, which lets you upload screenshots of apps or websites and then converts them into editable mock-ups. Natural Language Processing, NLP, is how AI algorithms interpret written and spoken words, otherwise known as natural language. UX designers can use NLP tools to analyze user feedback, reviews, or survey responses en masse. Common use cases for NLP include sentiment analysis, or classifying sentences according to predefined emotive labels, or inferring patterns from text data to understand user needs and pain points. NLP tools can also assist in language translation and content categorization. One tool that can do this is Uclassify, an open source software, free to use, that lets users classify text snippets according to the topic, sentiment, mood, and tonality, among many others. While UX designers don't need to know how NLP works granularly, it's a good idea to understand its role in the design process. When redesigning an existing interface, UX designers often turn to behavioral analytics to weigh various trade-offs or justify a design decision. User behavior analytics platforms use AI to analyze user interactions on digital products. These tools track user flow heat maps and click-through rates. By understanding how users engage with a product, UX designers can make data-driven decisions to optimize user experiences. Large companies will have dedicated data analysts who track this data and they'll generate reports. However, being a data literate UX designer makes you more nimble and even opens the door to product management roles down the line. For tools that help you do this, check out Mixpanel, UX Cam, or Attention Insights. Image generators are largely hit or miss. AI doesn't seem to understand what a human face looks like sometimes, but they can help generate auxiliary visuals for user interfaces or serve as a starting point for design. Remember that general purpose image generators aren't specifically trained on design assets, so detailed prompts are necessary for better results. For example, in this tutorial, YouTuber Nick Babbage demonstrates how to write prompts for Midjourney, including words like Figma, Behance, or Dribble instructs the AI to use assets from these websites in this auto-generated design rather than simply pulling images from the World Wide Web. You probably know of Stable Diffusion and Midjourney already, but Adobe Sensei is another tool to try out. Content creation is a major part of a UX designer's job. They write everything from microcopy, error messages, onboarding instructions, CTAs, to questionnaires, scripts for user interviews, and copy for presentations. Text-based generative AI tools like ChatGPT help designers brainstorm ideas, generate checklists, and iterate microcopy. ChatGPT's output requires refinement, especially regarding UX copy, so don't take AI-generated text at face value. Brands want their UX copy to reflect the brand's values and personality. It should also be free from jargon and play a logical role in the user flow. 
Virtual user testing platforms leverage AI to simulate user interactions and gather feedback on design prototypes or digital products. These tools create virtual user personas and scenarios, allowing designers to observe how users interact with their designs in realistic simulations. AI-powered analysis provides insights into usability issues, user preferences, and areas of improvement, even if companies fully or partially automate usability tests. An increasingly common practice, a human must determine the test scope and purpose, formulate a hypothesis, determine what participants are needed and how to recruit them, and they need to decide how to measure success. There's no denying that AI will impact our careers, but generative tools alone cannot replace a talented UX designer. Designers bring creativity, contextual knowledge, and human-centered design principles, all things AI can't replicate. However, designers who learn to incorporate AI into their workflow can become more productive and adaptable as this technology advances. To showcase your work, and that you know how to use AI, make sure you have a great portfolio that keeps up with your evolving career. Check out this video on how to make a modern design portfolio. And thanks for joining.